Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Aventu Strata, and I'm going to show you how to kite as the thief in Guild Wars 2. So the first thing I want to talk about is the types of kiting. First there is um, single one-on-one -on -one kiting where you are fighting one opponent and the second type is mob fighting. So I'll show you both in a second, but first, I just kind of want to talk about basic kiting rules. Um, the idea is to keep your distance away from your opponent and make it so that way you deal more damage than they do to you. And you want to avoid getting hit as much as possible. This means use your tumbles, use all your escape mechanisms. Um, you should never be in one place. You should always be moving around. Um, and, and the reason why is because you are going to be squishy as a thief. Most of your moves, or most of your armor and things should be um, basically power and precision. Here, I've got 416 power and I have 339 precision. So, you know... And that should be over your your toughness and your health. Um, so I'm going to show you basically the two types um, of kiting, which we've talked about. But then there's a subclass based off of your um, weapons. There is melee fighting when kiting, and then there is ranged kiting. Uh, here, as you see, I swapped from bow to pistol. So this is purely just kiting ranged, what I'm showing you right now. Notice how I'm always moving around. But at the same time, I'm still dealing damage. I'm using my auto attack strategically. And the main reason why is because most of the moves you have, they're going to be aim-based. You're going to have to aim in order to use them. But with your um, auto attack, you don't have to do that. And you see, I took out that whole mob just mainly with my auto attack I used a few moves um, when it started when they started to group a mob but for the most part I pretty much kept them down with my auto attack and again you want to make sure that you're watching your surroundings you want to make sure that if someone's coming up behind you, you know about it. The idea as a thief is that you should be the one surprising people, not the other way around. Um, and here I'm going to show you uh, fighting mobs. Just basic fighting two opponents, moving around, keeping your distance. I don't know if you know this, but as... Um, as a thief, when you're using bows, uh, it ricochets. Your ar arrows will ricochet from opponent to opponent. So you should use that to your advantage. But uh, here, my setup for my right side is uh, 7 is Caltrops, um, 8 is Roll for Initiative, and my nine is scorpion wire. Um, now I'm going to show you basically how to fight harder opponents. What I just showed you is just easy little prey, not that big of a deal. Uh, this area is a 25-35 zone. I'm a level 36, so I should be able to hold my own, but they should still give me a bit of a challenge with all my gear and such. Um, so there's an alpha minotaur here, and I'm going to go ahead and attack him. First, I'm going to put down some AoE. 
All right, I s stole from him, which shadow steps me, and then I got out, cow trots, pulled him with my scorpion wire, and then I finish him off with unload. So you see there, it, it was it was a form of kiting, but that was more of me keeping my distance. And ultimately, that's ultimately what kiting is all about. It's about keeping your distance away from your opponent. Now here's a way to do it where you're surprising your opponents. Uh, I have Thieves Guild as my special zero, so I'm going to use that against this Alpha Minotaur. So first I pull down my Caltrops, I summon my Thieves, and then I'll pull him with Scorpion Wire. I could outrun a centaur. And there's the kill. I picked it up basically because of these Thieves. Um, that would be considered a distraction. And you can use distractions like these Thieves, you could do it that way, or you could use your your friendlies you can use uh, bots you can use friends you could do whatever you want as long as you distract your immediate target with something else then it'll be a lot easier for you to get that kill now I'm just gonna wait here there we go All right, so I'm gonna target this oh, this alpine, and notice how I'm moving around. Again, I cannot stress that enough. Moving around is the key to kiting properly. You do not have enough health as the thief to be sitting still and wasting your health. You have to be moving around. It's how you stay from. 10 health to 3,000. I'm gonna come and help this player here. And this is a form of what I was talking about with distractions. Um, we split them up. I'm taking one, he's taking the other. And just watch as I move around the map. See, I'm not ever standing still. That's the key, guys. You gotta keep moving around. And again, this is all ranged work. Ranging is a lot easier than melee. Pretty soon I'll be showing you that as well. Um, but first I'm going to go and do some kiting on the side for this event. Um, you want to pick your exactly where you want to start. Um, kiting is an art and it's going to take a while. Um, but the idea is to keep yourself from harm's way, but close enough to still deal regular damage. And uh, as you can see here, there's a fight brewing, and I'm keeping my distance, first of all, and then I'm just throwing everything I've got down. There's no immediate danger around me. I can see pretty much exactly the battle. And then I'm picking my fights where I see I should be picking them. And see, I, I took no damage throughout that whole fight. I took nothing. I was just sitting there, walk, moving around, getting in the right position, and dealing the damage I should be dealing. Um, let me just get this chest really quickly. All right. If you notice, when I tumble, I have a speed buff. Uh, that that is a part of your skills. Later on, I will do a uh, video specifically on your skill set and what you should be doing for each class. But for right now, again, we're going to do mainly kiting. Um, Like usual, as I've said before, it's all about keeping your distance, making sure regular damage and pressure is placed on the opponent. Uh, here, though, I didn't put enough damage, and now the Drake's health is just rising. So, 
what do I do? I just switch to my pistols, unload. That's all you need to do. And the same thing with this Drake. I'm going to start off with unload. And then again, I'm just going to move around. Put some caltrops and uh, use roll for initiative. Another and that will victory. give me the kill right after I use my uh, unload. And you know, caltrops, they have a very good um, active time. So if you kill one person, don't be afraid for your next opponent. Just lead them into the rest of your caltrops to get the kill. I do that all the time. Um, next, I would like to show you how to uh, do your kiting underwater. But first, I would really like to kill this river drake. And you see, I'm in a rhythm here. I haven't really changed from the original plan. Um, typically, when kiting and PvE, you want to stay with your original plan. Find a rhythm that works for you. For PvP, though, I would come up with a few uh, different types of rhythms that work for you as a kiter. And that would be for PvP. PvE, just keep doing the same thing. It'll never get boring, I promise you. So now, uh, we're going to work on underwater kiting. And this is probably the hardest type. The reason why is because when you're underwater, it's 3D based, okay? You have that Z axis that you have to worry about, whereas on land, you just have that X and Y axis. But the Z axis, when you know, you're in underwater, can be a bitch. And you gotta make sure you keep yourself, keep your distance back, and you keep yourself swimming, moving around, going underwater, going over water, sorry, and so on and so forth. Now I got myself a little uh, mob here. I'm going to stay back, deal a little bit of damage, but look at this. The environment actually helped me. And as a kiter, you're going to realize that if someone's after you, sometimes there will be some animals or creatures that will fight, unintentionally fight for you. But now that he's dead, I got this, you know, horde of drakes. Just keep moving around. Use all of your escape mechanisms when you need to use them. And just stop sitting still. Just keep moving. Never stop. And again, regular damage. There it is. It's, it's just that simple. Uh, later on, though, when you start getting into these bigger hordes like I've shown you right here, it becomes a problem. Big hordes are hell to deal with. You got to learn from practice. And if you keep moving around and keeping your distance from your opponent, then you will get that. You will find your medium when it comes to fighting underwater and kiting underwater. And uh, for me, I find that the harpoon gun is easier for me to kite with rather than the uh, energy. The, harp the harpoon itself, the spear harpoon. I find that the harpoon gun it, it works a lot better for me than you know the spear. So I use that instead, um, and that's mainly because, like always. Ranged kiting will always be easier than uh, melee kiting. To give you an idea here, I'm actually going to show you how to melee kite. Uh, melee, melee kiting is very hard to do. It takes a while uh, to master, but the idea is that you got to use your shadow walk. And, or shadow steps. I call it shadow walking. Sometimes I call it shadow stepping. But shadow stepping is a move that you use that allows you to move around the map, uh, around your opponents actually, without being untargetable. 
um, or with being untarable, excuse me. So you use most of your abilities when you're, you're shadow stepping, so that way they cannot hit you, but you can hit them. Um, your steel is a uh, shadow step. Uh, roll for initiative is a shadow step. And I'm not sure of um, my skill set on to the left, but I believe the two and... Yeah, only the two. I apologize. The two and three. The two and three are shadow steps, and your five with this build. This is sword and dagger. Um, it's called cloak and dagger, and it is a... Literally, you dagger them, and then you cloak. So, again... This is how you would pipe as a melee. You'll tumble a lot. You'll go in and out. That's that's the key with melee uh, kiting is that you go in and out. You want to roll in, deal a little bit of damage, roll out, and then you know here I'm you, I'm throwing my daggers. That's number four. You just keep throwing your daggers and dealing damage to them from range. So, you know, Dancing Dagger, that's number four, is great to have. And again, you know, once you've got an idea of how to range kite, then you can start getting into melee kiting, which is a lot harder. So again, move in, move out, like I just showed you. Then, like I've done, you can Caltrop, which is CC, and then you move in for a few hits and get, get out. Um, a lot of problem with thieves who are trying to do this is that they're trying to get too many hits in at one time. Um, like I just showed you, that is only if you know for sure you're going to get the kill. If you don't know you're going to get the kill, then don't do it. It's simple as that. I would say it's probably the best way to do it is if you know that you could win just sitting there taking them on then go ahead but see I'm taking a bit of damage I could outrun a but yeah I'm still moving around the map okay and literally this Drake is confused he doesn't know where he should be using his fire and that's because you know I'm moving around the map and really what it is is that the the uh, AI is confused on where to really hit me because my hitbox is in four different places at once. <laughs> um, but you know, most of this is going to work more in PvE uh, when you first start out. I would say you should do in PvE because um, skilled PvP players will see right through what you're doing. And in fact, I bet you anything that they will actually be doing the same thing. So you want to keep your distance, of course. Like I've said, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but that is the key to it is one, keeping your distance away from your opponent, two, moving around the map, and three, you want to make sure that you're dealing damage to them regularly you should never have a point or a break if you will from dealing damage you should always be doing some form of damage whether it be a DOT AOE or just whacking them around a little with your uh, regular attack uh, looks like an event's going to start up so I'm gonna stay pretty close to here but I do kinda wanna move around um, I do want that event a little bit. Ooh, let's get this Minotaur, shall we? There's the event, okay. Alright, so as you see, I started with my Caltrop, and then I went in with the Steel, and then I rolled for initiative. And then again, it's just really dealing damage you got to make sure that you have enough damage output um, if you're going to do this you got to make sure that your power and precision are the highest qualities uh, toughness and your um, 
armor tough or that is armor sorry your toughness and vitality get it right alex uh you want to make sure that all that is proper uh you want to make sure you're putting a good amount of points in everything but really what you want is putting all of it into your um precision and your crits which is your precision and your power which is your damage as you just saw while I was uh, going on about that uh, you could even kite ranged as I just showed you that was a perfect situation where you could even kite someone who's uh, stationary ranged so you know um, this video is almost over so a little f uh, a few things before I end it um, with this kill here I want to let you guys know that uh, if this sounds better that's because I got a new mic uh, my original version of this video I will be putting down and um, I actually got it so that way I can do more than just 15 minutes so now I won't be doing parts anymore I'm gonna be doing full-length videos and I will be doing a lot of how-to videos uh, my next video will be vistas I'm going to show you how to get the vistas and uh, that's gonna be kind of like a series I'm gonna do uh, my first destination is going to be divinity's reach and then I'm gonna make my way down to you know Queensdale Shaymore all that area and then I'm gonna get all the human areas done and make my way down I also wanted to take the time and opportunity to let you know that Strata Guild is looking for new members. I will put our information down below. Go ahead and check us out on our Facebook page. And uh, we have instructions there on how you can find yourself playing with us. Anyways, this was Event 2 Strata. Thank you and good night. Commandant Pompando, the Jamaican name. Music for the world. Keep the music pumping and the people are jumping. Champagne by the case, DJ, no delay when the 